Hello y'all. Hi y'all. It's Kimberly here. Thank you for coming to my channel. Uh, the past few weeks, two and a half, almost three weeks have been really draining. Um, my car was broken into. I had a small storage unit that was broken into and just yesterday I experienced another break-in at another storage unit and um, they stole most of my all my cowboy boots and a lot of fashion boots um, I had really nice boots uh, my clothes are from the Goodwill but my boots are really nice <laughs> Uh, this week has been really hard, and this morning one of my dogs died in my arms. <laughs> I mean, what more can happen? I've had four dogs pass away in probably about three months' time. They were all elderly, and I was expecting at least two of them had outlived their normal life expectancy and so that was not a shock when the two oldest had died but there were two that you know I really thought they might have had a couple more years left in them and this uh, my dog Tater he was a Cheweeny mix um, he was I guess the last six months um, he used to be like a stocky little, I mean, he was a little long tube-shaped little dog with little legs. And he, one time I was reading this story about this lady who wrote a story in a, I think it was like Parade Magazine or something. And she had a dog and it had a picture of her dog and he looked just like Tater. And he was the same shape and he was like a little mixed breed and, uh, almost the same color and she called him a raging a rampaging fire log and that described Tater exactly I laughed so hard when I when I heard that or a tube without legs because he had really short little legs and he just had this thick little stocky muscular little body and he had a little stubby tail and uh, I guess the past six months he kind of, he was getting a little frail, he wasn't as, um, he used to fly like Superman, he was just, excuse me, God, I did not mean to do that, I just ate, and I just, oh my God, so fierce, wish I knew how to edit now, I'm not going to start this over, I'm so sorry, but, um, my eyes are all puffy and red because I've been crying all morning but he was just this little superman dog and he was um, not real nice to my pit bull he terrorized my pit bull my pit bull was scared of him and uh, that created a lot of tension and I tried to get them to get along and finally I just I they had to be separated they couldn't be around each other but he was super dominant, and he was really mean to other dogs. He just had a real jerk personality. He was an obnoxious jerk, you know. But he was my little obnoxious jerk, you know. And so the last few months, uh, his back legs were kind of not very... Um, he could walk and run, but they weren't very stable. Sometimes I would notice that he would kind of make a misstep or something. And I could tell he was maybe getting a little arthritic, but it was just this last year, and he was uh, about 12 years old. And I really thought maybe he might live, you know, another year or two, maybe longer. Because chihuahuas and weenie dogs, they tend to, to live a pretty long time. Uh, I had a one weenie dog that lived 19 and a half years, and the chihuahua that had just passed away a few months ago. I don't really know how old she was, but... I'm going to say between 18 and 20 years is what I've pegged it at. Because she was really old when I got her. And I had her for about 10 years. And 
so Tater, you know, I really thought maybe he'd live a little bit longer, but uh, this last week, I noticed he was kind of just more frail, and he he wasn't eating very good. He would eat one day and then not the next. And I checked his teeth, and I didn't see. Well, he had probably some tooth decay, and but he uh, still had a full set of teeth because I thought maybe. Uh, he wasn't eating the, he used to eat the, the crunchy dog food. And so I started feeding really soft food and he did start eating that. So I thought maybe his gums or his teeth were hurting and, um, I was probably going to have to take him to maybe, they would maybe probably have to pull a tooth out or something like that, I thought. And then, uh, it was actually two days ago, I came home and, um, he had thrown up in his crate, and I put him out in the backyard, and I fed him a little bit more, and he tried to eat some of it, but he just didn't eat very much, and he drank a lot of water, and then he kind of wobbled around the backyard, he's sniffing around, his tail was up, and he was like sniffing, and he couldn't jump up to, he used to like jump up on my legs every time when I come home, you know, greeting me, and he couldn't do it, you know, he just stood by my my legs and I had to bend down and pet him and he just looked a little bit more frail in the face and you know I started thinking about you know it's really hard when you have to put a dog down I mean I hate saying it that way I wish I could say it I don't know what way to say it but I think that he was uh, really, that that was probably the time when I was either going to have to take him to the vet or do something, I don't know, he did. He wasn't sick, he didn't have like colds or snivels or, you know, he didn't have like any sickness, he didn't have like diarrhea and that was the first time he, he's thrown up since, I don't know, he got sick years ago, he ate something and he threw up and I had to take him to the vet then. But uh, we didn't really know what it was, but um, I decided that I'm going to give him a few days, let him try to eat something, because I had just changed his diet to the, the canned food, which I don't feed my dogs canned food. I feed them the crunchy food, because the times that I've had to feed dogs the canned food, I mean... I think sometimes the canned food can cause a lot of diarrhea, and... I think it's a, their stomach has to adjust to it or something, I don't know. But when a dog's on crunchy food and then they just immediately start eating canned food, they can have diarrhea. I mean, the change in their diet can cause, you know, intestinal problems. And So I was uh, going to do that for a few days and see how he adjusts to that. And I did give him some of the crunchy food, but I kind of soaked it in uh, water. And then I tried to mix it up with the canned food, but he, he just didn't eat it. He ate the canned food, and then yesterday I came home and he didn't eat anything. And he just looked really frail and really, you know. I laid him out of his crate, and I took him out in the backyard, and I was going to let him run around, and, well, he really doesn't run around that much anymore. He usually, for the past few years, he'll do his business, then he might patrol the yard for like a couple minutes, then he goes and finds a place and he just sleeps. And I like to leave him out there, he needs fresh air, and I leave him out there and I bring the big dog in and I have time with him. And then, that way I switch it out, they both have, you know, enough time in the backyard, they can't be around each other. One of them gets to be in the house with me and then I switch one out and put it in the backyard because they both need to be, you know, their equal time in the backyard, and, um, he just, he couldn't really walk very well, and I had to literally hold him up, and he was trying to pee, and I had to hold his little leg up, I mean, he couldn't, he lost his balance, and he couldn't lift the leg and hold his back end up, so I had to, like, literally hold him, you know, lift his one leg, then hold his hip, you know. And then when he was through, he just sat down and just 
couldn't, he just didn't, um, he couldn't function very well. And so I just decided that he needs to go to the vet tomorrow. And I'm going to see what the vet says if, I mean, he, he wasn't sick. He didn't have like flu or some symptoms unless, I mean, I know it was just age related and I was really mentally preparing myself that I'm going to probably put him to sleep in the morning. And so I got up in the middle of the night around two o'clock and I took him out to use the bathroom and I had to carry him out and I had to literally hold him up again and then I just kind of held him in my arms and I patted him and then I put him back in his little bed and wrapped him up and he just laid his head down you know and he just looked at me and then um, this morning I put the big dog out and then I was getting Tater out I wanted to hold him and you know I just want to take care of him feed him you know and before I took him to the vet you know let him go to the bathroom you know and he was uh, just so lethargic couldn't even hold his head up so I just held him in my arms for about 10 minutes and then he passed away in my arms. And he just gave out. And I mean, I, I didn't rush to the vet because he was, I could tell he was going down. And he had just this glazed look in his eye, and he was breathing very, when a dog is passing, they have this, it's a cyanotic breath, you know, same thing as humans, you know, when they're passing away. And I know he was going into a cyanotic state, and instead of rushing him in the car and rushing there and then doing something like that, I just held him. Because there was no point in, you know. God, I think I'm going to cry like this. <sighs> so this week has been really tough and really hard. And so, um, I'm just not going to make any videos probably for a few days or a week. I don't know. I've got a lot of things to deal with. And so I'm just going to take a few days off. And... I'd rather come back and make videos when I'm in a better state of mind and just, you know, because all my videos have been really horrible downers lately, <laughs> really negative videos, and but <sighs> plus I don't like to cry on my videos. I hate <laughs> crying like this. But I'm still very emotional from this morning, you know, so maybe in a few days or a week I can talk more. I'd like to tell you a story about him and, you know, do a little story time or something about him because he was a character. He was something else. <laughs> My little tater. Well, thank you for listening, and I'll be back in a few days or a week. I'm not really sure, but... I just would rather take a few days off and try to get myself together. <laughs> but thank you for listening in. Thank you for coming to my channel, everybody. And I really enjoy making the videos. And I'm sorry that they've been so negative and <laughs> sad <laughs> lately. <sighs> but... Just let me, let me have a few days off and then I'll make more videos. But thank you so much. Thank you for coming to my channel. And 
like, comment, subscribe. Thank you. Thank you so much.